Hi, I'm Bethany, and that's Drew. And today we're in the middle of the windy Mojave Desert, a place that's not exactly known for its lush green trees and babbling brooks. But it does have a forest. A forest that beckons its visitors with vibrant colors, odd structures, and glass folk art. It's Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch, right here on Oddity Odysseys. We could be the glamorous parents that you see on YouTube. These are no, our, you can't go over here. These are our fur babies. That's not us. Yeah, Jet just threw up in the back and it stinks so bad. You know, we even took them to the vet right before this, and our vet was like, oh, you guys will have so much fun. Right. Hey, you're supposed to be wearing your seatbelt. Where is this I bottle don't tree know. ranch? I don't even know if we're gonna film this episode now. From Interstate 15 in Victorville, California, you can exit at D Street and take that north about 11 miles to the blink and you'll miss it bottle forest on the left. Today, however, we'll be approaching from Barstow to the north. Oh, I think this is it. I guess I better get off the street. Oh, it's open, yay! Hey, all right. We made it, kitties. That was interesting. Okay, you guys, stay in there and be good. They're fine crack the windows a little bit and they got a nice breeze. The Bottle Ranch actually sits right on Route 66 and one of these days we're gonna do an entire series of Oddity Odysseys along Route 66 but for today we had to stop here and check this out. Pretty crazy. With all the stories I've heard about this place I feel like it's been here for a hundred years. Yeah it looks like it might have taken that long to build but it actually has only been in construction since the early 2000s. How do we get in? Uh oh gate. The open yeah. gate. And it's open. Very welcoming kind of place. At a glance, I'm already reminded of two other unique structures made from bottles with kind of that folk art vibe. The first is Phantasmagoria in Echo Park. The second is East Jesus in Island, California. But it looks like Elmer took bottle artistry to a whole new level. Yeah, I mean, we've seen some crazy stuff made out of bottles, but never an entire forest of bottles. Forest. And it looked like it would have taken a lot of manpower and tools, but it really was just Elmer's hard work. Elmer's passion for collecting bottles began when he was a child. Born in 1947, Elmer and his father would go camping in the desert outside of Los Angeles. Easily bored of campfires and roasting marshmallows, Elmer and his father frequented old dumps while camping, and it was during that time that his father collected the first bottle. For 30 years, glass treasures were added to the bottle collection. Near the end of his father's life, Elmer could not endure the thought of the bottles going to waste. And at the age of 55, he turned the collection into the work of his life. Wow, I'm lost. I'm getting lost in the forest. There's actually two acres worth of bottle trees in this forest. Pretty crazy. You see all the glistening from the bottles? It's pretty incredible. And all sorts of different colors. Amazing. But in addition to that, there's this auditory thing going on. There's a lot of sounds, as you can hear. I keep hearing wind chimes. There's a couple of them right above our head here. And trains. Trains in the background, going past every 10 to 20 minutes, I think. But back to the trees, as you can kind of see here, the branches are just welded straight onto these metal pipes, and then the bottles will just kind of hang here. Crafty. Yeah, for sure. Let's go see what else we can find. about this place is I'm seeing a little bit of everything. I'm seeing radios, guitars, typewriters. Basically there's everything except for the kitchen sink. Ah, uh, great. Ooh, that's gonna be a cool shot. Yeah, you know, sometimes I get real close and then I can't see the forest for the bottles. Are we gonna have to add laughing sound effects to our video now? Ooh, here's another one. I see one in honor of your really horrible dad jokes today. Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I got a few dad jokes. Yeah. Elmer constructed his first bottle tree in the year 2000. By 2002, he was living on the property and working full time on the forest. Uh. I really wish that we could have spoken with him 
and he could have shared with us which one was the first tree that he built. Uh, yeah. That would have been super fascinating to talk to him. In 2019, Elmer Long passed away at the age of 72, but not before greeting thousands of visitors who flocked here to see his life's work. Today, people continue to visit this iconic roadside attraction on Route 66 to experience the legendary Bottle Tree Ranch. Elmer Long's hospitality lives on and the Bottle Tree Ranch remains open to the public most days of the year. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribe, it doesn't cost you a thing. And if you have any favorite locations along Route 66 that you'd like to see us cover in the future, please leave those in the comments. Thanks for joining us on this oddity and we'll see you on the next one. How do you clean up leaves that fall from a bottle tree? A glass blower? Hey, it occurred to me, did anybody ever answer the question if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? These certainly would. I guess so. I have a question. What? How many bottles would a glass blower blow if a glass blower could blow glass? Okay, I'm out. <laughs>